Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today welcome to community test for update 31 of Universe Sandbox. So I didn't actually know that this had actually even came out. I only found out during the week that oh, someone said oh have you tried the community build and I was like I didn't even know there was one but here we are. So let's see what we've actually got in here. So constellations we've added constellations there are currently constellation sets for 11 cultures check them out under open constellations or open the western constellations now learn more about in our new guides okay standard glow size glow some objects of the same radius and temperature are now the same size whether they are a planet or a star okay dynamic object glows the size of an object's glow now corresponds to how bright the object is with brighter objects getting larger glows uh, more highlights. Stars now show uh, limb darkening and observe from non on where the edge appears dimmer than the centre. Right. Interesting. Full details. I'm, gonna see, I'm just going to see that. I'll probably bring up the patch notes. So what have we actually got in here as well? Anything else? Uh, I'm just, it's just showing us the before and after, all the stuff I've just mentioned. Okay. Interesting. So stars now, the stars looking more dim. That's interesting. I'll definitely have a look at that. Okay, that's all they've told us. Okay, so we'll have to explore and see what else there is to check out. So, let's try this. Let's try this first. Constellations. Right. So, what... Oh! The Western Constellations show the eight eight officially recognised constellations of the International Astronomical Union. Each constellation in this culture represents a region of the sky determined by the International Astronomical Union. These regions are used as a celestial map to locate other stars or meteor showers. Okay. Many of these constellations come from Greek or Middle Eastern cultures. Their names are cultural figures like the gods and folk here. Okay. Nice. So here's the sun in the middle. So this is where we are. And, and now we can see the new effect of stars. Look at this. This looks really, really cool. So if we just slow down time. That looks a lot different than the way it used to. I mean, look when you zoom in. Look how weird the stars look. So the outside is dimmer. That looks art. That looks awesome. That looks so much better than what they used to look like. So zooming out, it looks the same as normal. When you zoom in, that's where you see it. Stars are looking a lot different than they used to now. So that is... That's really, really cool. Um, what if we turn off glows? Let's see what it looks like without the glow. Uh, glow, glow, glows. Is that glow? There used to be a button where you could do it. Where's where's that gone? I'm sure there was a... Yeah. Aha! So there you go. So that's what the star looks like, obviously. If you want to make it look insane, there you go. <laughs> oh my god. So that affects all the stars as well, so that's really cool. So we'll just leave it uh, back to, what's it, 100 I think is what it was on. Something like that. 100. There you go. So that looks really cool though. But anyways, off, off the glow stuff. So constellations. Look at that. That's so cool. So let's see if we can spot any, uh, see if you can spot any ones you know, so. Oh my god, there's so many, that's so cool. Look at this, all around us as well. So, wow. Where's the good old uh, constellation of Orion? There's Canis Major. That's really cool. Sirius, says Sirius A. Oh, that is so cool. Nice. There's Orion, nice. So, looking cool. There's Beetlejuice. Whereas uh, Rigel should be somewhere that there's Rigel or Rigel C. That's really, really cool. It even tells you what constellation it is when you select it. Oh, wow. Where's Leo? That, that's my star sign constellation. Where's Leo? Because my birthday's in August. Leo? Where's Leo? Uh, somewhere. Somewhere here. Andromeda. Triangulum. Tarius. There's Orion again. Cancer's there. Gemini. Leo Minor. Ah, and there's Leo. Ah, there you go. Hey, so there's some of my stars. So Regulus is probably... Oh, Denebola is one of the other big names in there. Cool. Nice. That's really cool. That one is... Yeah, you're so major as well. There you go. Wow. So there's a good look of them all. So see if you can spot your one. So... There you go. Let's actually pull it into the actual background of the Milky Way, just so it blends around a little bit. There you are, so... This shows where all the stars are, the background to go over it as well. Hey, that's really cool. I like the bright... Uh, that's bright, there we go. So there you are. So you can spot your stars 
with the background. That's really, really cool. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, check out what else there was. So there was also... Uh, going back to the patch news. Oh, where did the patch notes go? Oh, I lost them. Damn, okay. What other stuff was it? It was Star Glows. Um, oh, there's also something else I want to try. Now, this wasn't mentioned in the patch notes, but I want to still have a read of it. So let's just let this open. And actually, what I need to do is I'm just going to try and get the patch notes up again because I did have them uh, logged somewhere. So just bear with me. I should have kept them open. But there was a, there was an image they showed in in the in the uh, teaser which i think is a very very interesting observation so without further ado we're going to go and try and find it so if i go to just say uh, right now i want to go here now i want to go to composition okay interesting because i saw an image that had more materials not just these the normal four I'm looking at an image right now that I spotted, and it had carbon dioxide, helium, and methane. But they're not here, so they're not in this test. But they do, they have been, they are in some existence, probably on obviously the developer versions. So, interesting stuff. Okay. Never mind. Um, let's try the star glows as well. So, it seems like this update coming is all about the star glows. So, we'll go ahead and have a little look at some of that. So, there's the sun again. So what if I change the luminosity and stuff? I want to see if that, how that works. So does that, does that do anything much to it? So it is looking obviously less bright. So that dims it down, I'll see if I turn it up. Whoa, the blue star looks crazy. Look how cool the blue star. Oh, right. I made the sun a bit hot as well. Okay. <laughs> so what's this in that yellow white star phase? Very, very bright. I mean, that looks, this is almost like space engine levels of detail. That's really cool. So if we go all the way up to maximum blue, that's what you get. So the blue stars looking pretty crazy. Actually, what I'll do is so we can have a good look at things. We'll go to the old size comparison simulations. So if I go, I go into my... Uh, let's go into the 2021, for instance. So... Uh, oh, right. Uh, go by name, I guess. So where are we? Da -da -da -da. Size comparison. Oh, where is it? I know, I know it's here somewhere. Um, where do I store my size compressor? This should be... Uh, da -da -da. Where are they at? Come on. Somewhere buried in here. I mean, I have a lot of sims. Very, very lot of sims. Too many simulations. <laughs> uh, size. Oh, did I get rid... I must have got rid of them. Why, why would I delete those? I don't know why I would do that, but apparently I did. Oh, that's, um, that's a bit annoying. But anyway, what we'll do is we'll go to a, just a nice star simulation. Then. Is there a simulation on stars? If I just go to all and just search star. I just, want, I just want a comparison of different star types. So, okay, let's try this. Okay, this should be interesting. Oh, well, th actually, th forget the stars. This shows a good comparison of the new glow. Look, at the, look how the object glows work now. Oh, that... So you got the bright, then you have the yellow. I think they look so, that looks so good. Wow. That is really, really cool. So then also you have the darker, darker shades. Let's try and ignite this one as well. So that's a 430 degrees. So actually we'll go all the way to the one at the bottom here. And we'll just sort of launch it all the way up to uh, maximum power. So let's slowly warm it up. Okay, so immediately you can see... Look at the glow. Look how it changes. That is really, really cool. But notice the luminosity is on zero. The star is still uh, looking a little weird, but there you go. So, I think that looks really good. <laughs> hey! So, for instance, what we could do as well. Let's go to a... Yeah, we'll go to a fresh simulation this time. We'll place in... Uh, we'll place in the sun multiple times. So, we'll go... Um, yeah, we've got it paused. So, we'll go... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, and ten. And then what we'll do is we'll have them at different ranges just so we can really see the stars and how they all function. So this one we'll have as maximum blue. Then we'll have one as a sort of paler blue. So you can tell that's a different shade of blue. Uh, then we go to a normal, uh, an even less shade of blue. So more of a whiter, a whiter blue. 
somewhere around 9,000. Then we go to just a white star, so that's around 6,000 degrees. Probably got a yellow white star of the sun. Then we go with a more uh, slightly cooled yellow sun. Now we're going to the uh, more redder shade of the spectrums. So let's keep doing that and just see how all the stars compare. So there we go. I think we may need more than 10 stars though. Um, so there you are. And then lastly, this one here. Until you get something like that. So I think they look so... I think the stars look really good now though. Look at that. So there's a good line of them all. So you go from blue to the sort of redder orange shade. So let's go all the way down to black though. So like another four should do it. 14 different colours. So okay. Maybe a little more temperature than that. Okay, this one will go all the way down to half it twice. And then lastly, all the way down. Oh, that's a little too much, actually. Uh, let's get a more red shade. And then this is the one we'll put around 800 degrees. Oh, no, a little more than that. It needs to be around 1,000, doesn't it? So then you get the, uh, the redder shades. So put this down and this one even lower until you get something like that. So what do you think of that? Now, I think that immediately. Look how much cooler the stars now look in this game. I mean, just the spectrum of them all as well. I mean, that that does look really seriously cool compared to the, what they looked like before, if you ask me. That, that They look fantastic. That's really, really awesome. I'm, re I'm very, very impressed with how cool that looks. So where, where's out? I want to try and find... I can't find the update notes. I try, I've lost them. So, yeah, very, very uh, annoying. That's an oh, I can't find it. I've lost uh, where the notes were. Oh, there's a screenshot of the thing again. Interesting stuff. Very, very interesting. But yeah, I can't, I can't seem to find the notes that we just had on the screen, unfortunately, which is very, very annoying. But oh well, we all read them uh, briefly there. So. Yeah, what do you guys think of that? I think we've covered mostly it all. So it was mainly the constellations and the stars um, in this update. I mean, is there anything else we're missing? I don't think there was, but... Huh. I think one more thing I want to try, though, is I want to see how stars now look with the appearance. Because obviously you can still change the protosphere colours. So let's just see how other star colours look. So, for instance, green... Oh my god, the green one looks really weird with the blue variant. Let's go to put green more of a whiter star. There we go. That makes the green stand out a little better. For instance, this we could put as a deeper blue. Let's actually see how um, custom color stars sort of stand out. Let's see. A quick peek of those. A pinker star in there as well. Maybe an all yellow star. So a very, very yellow star. But yeah, even, even these guys, I mean, they do look a lot more... They look more realistic than they did before. But obviously the exotic colors do still look a little crazy, but... Yeah, okay, I like that. Oh my god, that's very right. Cool. So there we are, guys. What do you think of that? I've got to say, that's really, really cool. Oops, so... Nice. And then, uh, I think that was everything. So, yeah, guys, if there's anything I missed, please let me know down below in the comments. But, um... Yeah, if that all said and done, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this little look at update 31 and what we'll be getting hopefully in the near future. And yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comments. But I've got to say, I think this this is looking to be a cool update when we finally get it. So there we are. But stay tuned and hopefully we'll be able to get to it, get to the update itself, hopefully in a few weeks' time. I mean, I've got no idea when they're planning to release it, so I have to just wait and see, really, and play it by ear. But yeah, anyways, with that all said and done, let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video, guys. Subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 25,000 subscribers now. So we hit 24 this week, so a massive thank you to that. And yeah, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.